Okay, so we've got lock boxes and the new access by appointment, or sometimes it will be referred to as ABA feature. Before we get into the ABA, one of the things that I want to point out to you is that in the edit listing screen, we've added an option right where by where you manage your photos and upload documents, there's an option to assign or remove a lockbox. If you click on that, it takes you to the screen that lists all of the lockboxes that you have in your possession. So you'll select central lock, you'll select the lockbox that you're going to put on the property by serial number, and click done. This will go ahead and assign that lockbox to that property. If you've already assigned the lockbox to the property through the app or the central lock website, then you can still come back here and associate the serial number with that listing. When you do that, it will display on your listing in the access section where it says that you're going to access by central lock, it will show a tip sheet link that will let all of the showing agents access the instructions for showing lockboxes. That's one of the questions that we get often is that, well, I don't want to use it on my listing because other agents don't know how to show it. Well, here are the instructions that make it easy for them to get that information. Now let's go ahead and go into access by, by appointment. The point of access by appointment is that the showing agent can only access, can only open that lockbox during their appointment time. So you come into the website. I'll show you the website instructions as well as the app instructions. This is the website. You go into listings and then click on the address. When you click on the address, the edit listing screen comes up and there's a checkbox for enable access by appointment. That's not there today. This line is blank. It will be there when ABA is turned on for everybody once it, passes our, once it passes our testing. You'll select that checkbox. You'll click save changes. This will turn it on for that property, for that listing. If you prefer to do it through the app, you'll turn on ABA by going to My Lockboxes from the, the hamburger menu in the upper left-hand corner, and then select Property Access Settings. From there, you can search for a property, or your listings will come up and you'll just click on the listing that you're working with. It will walk you through the lockbox showing setup instructions. If you have any standard instructions or special instructions, if there's an alarm, and then click next. It gives you the option to add homeowner notifications these screens are already there if you go in there. It's just the ABA screen that's going to be added. This is homeowner name and phone number and homeowner two name and phone number. And if you put that information in, they will get notifications when the showing begins and ends also. Then click next. And the last screen, which is the new one that will be added is access by appointment. When you first come in here and haven't turned it on, it will say access by appointment is currently turned off. Access by appointment prevents anyone from accessing this listing unless they have set up an appointment with you. So to turn it on, you click the turn on button. If it was already on, 
you would get this screen that says access by appointment is currently turned off or on, I'm sorry, on, and it would give you the button to turn it off. But we're focusing here on the turning it on. When you're the showing agent and you've opened a lockbox, it gives you the option to see the listing details during a showing. Showing time is one of the options and it will link to the showing time information. If you do select showing time as the option, you can see it in the lower right corner of the mobile screen here, it has the showing time icon. If you do select showing time, it will require that you log into the showing time app if you haven't been logged in already. And it will require that you log in to RCO3 to view the listing. The other option for listing details is HomeSnap, and that requires no additional login. To select the app that will provide listing details, select My Settings from the hamburger menu in the upper left-hand corner. And then select the desired program that you want to get the listing details from. Like I said, you have the choice of showing time or home snap. And also make sure that the switch here says on. When an appointment is made through showing time and accepted, the users will get a link in the showing time app to center key to open the lockbox. So if you're using the showing time app to go from listing to listing, viewing your cart, getting all of the showing information, it will show you a link to open the Centric Key app to open the lockbox so that you don't have to go back and find the Centric Key app and open that separately. Karen mentioned about end of showing notifications. What we really recommend that everyone do is at the end of their showing, there's a clock icon in the upper right hand corner. If you click that clock, it will send notifications to the homeowner if that has been selected and to the listing agent letting them know that the showing is complete. It will also give you a button to make it easy to open the link to return the key if you need to do that. And that's on the same screen as the open listing details was that we talked about earlier. So in the upper right hand corner, the little clock. The other ways that they can get notifications is if the showing agent has their location services turned on and go a half mile away from the property, it will send a notification that the showing has ended. It will also send a notification saying that the showing has ended if they open another lockbox within two hours of opening the original lockbox for the first showing. So they've gone to the first showing, they've completed that showing, they didn't click the complete, the end of showing notification button in the upper right hand corner, and they go to a second showing and they open another lockbox. That will trigger that notification to the first showing to say they were done and give the end of no showing notification to whoever is set up to receive that. And that is the end of the presentation.